Hello and welcome to another check-in. Okay, so it's super October. I wanted to wear my creepy Bones Coffee t-shirt um, and I am having coffee out of my I'm Dead Before Coffee mug because I love October. My coffee's cold. <laughs> I have not gotten it on a warmer today, but anyway, wanted to check in. Last night I um, was working what's working and I realized that I had put the colors in the wrong order. So I had to rip back the second color that I had knit that I showed you last time and then uh, replace it with yellow. So going very well. This is the folded up part of the folded brim and unfolded. It's quite long. Um, and it's starting to feel, it's starting to feel like it's, you know, like got some weight to it, which is really nice. It just has this great texture, you know, across it. So um, my floats are not bad. And I am about to swap from, well, I, I'll do maybe two increases and then I will swap from a cord of a 16 inch to a magic loop because, um, I just need to be able to, to go back and forth. Now, what I think I did, what I think I did, yeah, these are my eights. So I, um, these are on a interchangeable. So my eights are over here and I'm gonna need them for this hat. Um, and this was a cast on for a sweater neckline that I had started um, that I then decided I didn't wanna do. And, then I was torn because I had spent so much time doing the neckline that I just keep moving it from cable to cable. But I'm thinking what I really should do is just frog it and come back to it at another time. Um, with homework and everything, my headspace has not been the same. So I think I am just gonna end up frogging it, but I'm gonna grab these eights. I'm gonna put them on a longer cord so that I can magic loop this hat. Um, I swapped out, I did show you the progress keeper, but it's so cute. I'm going to show you again. Um, and I just think it looks so, so sweet with everything in here. So this is no makers. I have that correct this time. This was the Wonder Woman limited edition mini skein bundle Four mini skeins of um, 76 yards each. And so far my 14 grams of Chilton Blue, I still have a good bit left and I actually use that twice. So um, easily your like 10 gram minis should be fine for this. Um, so if you could actually do uh, like one color per row and do like an advent type of thing, it could be pretty fun. What I wanted to do, I wanted to do. Yes, what I wanted to do is um, try to tuck this onto my mannequin here. Yeah. All right, so this is kind of how it fits on my head right now. My head and the mannequins are pretty close. Um, I don't want to pull any stitches off, but when it's not, obviously, when it's not on the needles, I will I'll pull that bottom a little bit more. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking this pom-pom. I think so. What do we think? Should I go gray? Hold on, I do have, well, I have this hat, but I do have like a white. Oh, white looks really clean on it, doesn't it? Hmm. White looks really good. And I think I had a gray. Didn't I have gray? Didn't I have a gray right here? Come on. Really? I could have sworn I just had it in my hand. I did. Ha ha ha. Isn't it funny when you like do things? Faux fur prop pumps. I probably bought this at Michael's. It just has this little tab thing, which is kind of annoying. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to loop it to the inside, sew a button on or something, and then like loop it around the button and tie, tie it off. 
So, um, oh, oh, we like gray. Now I'm not so sure about the tan. I feel like that yellow is throwing me off. So I'm, I'm liking the gray. I'm liking the white. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking. Now, if I ended up giving this to my mom, one, it's too slouchy for her. But if I ended up giving it to her, would it, could I pull this high enough that it would be a beanie? Is that possible? Um, well, it would take a little bit of finagling, but uh, that would be the entire brim folded. Now, it'll still be too slouchy. She doesn't like slouchy hats. She likes beanies, which is fine. This was intended to be a slouchy hat. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I've been kind of pulling it so that the first color, you see a little bit of blue, and then the three other colors. So, I'm on low power mode. So I'm gonna keep going, but um, I'm thinking that that'll be really, really good. So, next time you see it, might be done, might be pom-pom, might be gray, might be gray. I love the size of this one though. Uh, torn. It's okay. I'm going to find a really good use for that pom-pom because it's stunning. This is just one of my floofier ones, but it's not bad. It would, it would, it would do in a pinch, but oh my goodness. I am so excited about this. So it's happening. I'm so excited. Mm. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. I think that this is just going to have such potential um, to be like perfect for stripey mini skein. I think it would look really great if you have a solid and a, and like a, a variegated, um, mm, it's delicious. And that striping is working perfectly right there. So good. Okay. So I'm going to hop off so that I can get some work done today, but I might be obsessively knitting this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, now that I found my eights, I don't know what to do know what to do there but yeah so i just wanted to pop in um let's see uh da, 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 da. i will probably have one more check-in of the finished hat and then um i am going to be working a little bit on a mini and see if that works out the way that i think it will so we're gonna see all right i'll talk to you soon Hello and welcome to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, a bellish blog. We are here today with the wrap up and kind of a hint at my next idea, um, which I already, no, it's not a total hint, it's the baby hat. <laughs> I already told you about this. I am once again using my Wonder Woman red mug, mm. but I'm not fully dressed. I'm not fully dressed, hold on, wait. Wait, I have to do this one last time. Okay, but -da. Ba -da. I love them so much. So what I've done is I've gotten the hat done and some notes, um, I am really pleased with it. If you just let it sit, I think it looks a little silly. Personally, I really like to kind of get in to these back folds and just flatten them like a Scottish ham and really let that like roundness here, pom pom, there. Yeah, so that's how I prefer to wear it. Um, I'm absolutely loving the color work. It worked out really, really well. Um, and you can kind of see, see the gold Stellina in person, uh, which is so exciting. I used the uh, main color again to finish off the top of the hat. I actually finished this at a friend's house on Saturday threw it directly on my head because I was cold. It was amazing. <laughs> I did a folded brim, uh, which I'm really loving the look of on that one. And the whole pattern, again, was designed through Bellish. So I was able to kind of take it from just a thought all the way up until up to the bottom. Oh, 
I think that this would be great for minis, um, obviously, as I've shown, but I also think that it would be wonderful for mini skeins such as like your advent calendars or if you buy like a, like a mini of like I was doing princesses or anything, like anything, any kind of like mini set, you could do one per diamond row or you could do two diamond rows and then swap colors, which is what I did. So technically I could have fit six colors, which would have been one mini set for sure. There's usually five to six. Um, and if, you know, you double it, you would have 12. So that could be, that could be 12 days of Christmas right there. Um, and it just makes a very, I feel wearable object. I want to find the back for a second. I think I did. All right. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Ah, loving it. Oh my gosh. So I just kept doing this. This is how my, my Saturday went. <laughs> um, and I think the folded over brim actually makes it for me because it is very warm. Now it's also sort of it's held double thick, so it's all worsted weight, um, which also helps with warmth. I thought that that was very helpful. Um, and I did end up not sewing on. I used the gray pom-pom and I took the rubber elastic that was on it, pulled it through, got a, not safety pin, what's the little stitch marker, one of the opening class stitch markers, hooked it and then hooked it onto like four stitches underneath so it kind of like pulls that elastic down i think a button would have worked perfectly fine i just did not have one <laughs> to hand when i wanted to do this so um i didn't do, i didn't do it but oh my goodness i absolutely love how it came out i'm already thinking of different ways that i could use this for one halloween would be really cute to fade some candy corn colors through black or purple or gray <sighs> And I am definitely one that has a lot of mini skeins. So <laughs> I'm thinking I could definitely make some very cute fades. This worked up very quickly. I would say the, the brim was one night. The color work itself was maybe two days, but I am also doing school during the same time. So, um, but I think the color work was like two days at best, like, you know, throughout the days. And then, um, I did the the decreases uh, in one day, and that was it. Uh, this is unblocked, um, but it's sitting so beautiful. Sitting so beautifully. Um, I had left it on my little mannequin over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had, I had left it on the mannequin head for a while, and I think it just helped keep all this pretty smooth. I might go in and block it um but the yarn itself is already pretty soft so i'm not it's not like i'm like trying to soften the yarn or anything like that either um but yeah i am i am absolutely so excited with how this themiscira hat came out um if you're not a wonder woman fan that's how you say it themiscira <laughs> which i for years have thought was damascara tis not so learning something new every day <laughs> i don't think i had seen it written out um so then i don't know if i do not think i did um i don't know if i had started this and i don't think i did that was the full sentence there i cast on um using a uh, numbers through bellish i cast on for a toddler size hat and i want to say this is about 88 22 stitches nugget all right I, you know what i can just check the pad i was gonna check my phone this is not my phone this is my phone case my phone is right there <laughs> i'm awake i swear so i will just check the pattern because i wrote it up so i'll check the pattern i want to say it was like 72 stitches now now that i think about it so i want to say this is about 72 stitches and it's gonna fit like one the three-year-old um it's coming in around 18 16 stitches uh, uh inches around for the head like so 
So I was kind of going for um, baby's first winter to match me. Look how cute it's coming along already. Ah! <laughs> um, I have a fun little progress keeper that has nothing to do with it over here just because it's cute and I like using all the little Mario things for Nugget. Oh, I love it so much. This works up crazy fast because I want to say I only have 72 stitches, but um, <clears throat> I brewed coffee, made a tea, and by the time they were both done, I was able to get that much color work done. So this is going to fly and <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, and I just, I also think that I really want to use white or cream or pale pink, depending on if it works. But I think I'll use cream and use the rainbow Felici worsted as the contrast and gift that to some friends that are going to be expecting in February. Um, a little baby girl. I'm very excited. So I think that would be really cute. We do still have our October friends expecting, um, but I did knit a hat already for them. So I think they're okay, but it's gonna match. Um, I will be finishing up this vlog and putting it in, but the finished object of this will be in my normal podcast when it's finished. Um, but yes, so I just wanted to, I wanted to show you how that's coming along and how really Bellish can help you find your sizes choose your colors. I went off of worsted weight because that's what these Brava skeins are. Um, and Knit Picks Mighty Stitch is 200 names. So that would be kind of considered a worsted as well. Though, personally, you can see the weight difference. Mighty Stitch is the navy. Brava worsted is the light blue. And you can see how much thinner that is. So you can really make the, like Mighty Stitch is kind of the gauge that I go off of for almost all of my sweaters. When I'm asking you to get gauge, this is the, the width, which is, it says 208. Um, but I think, uh, does Mighty Stitch have a sport weight? They have a bulky. Hmm. Who's 218? Oh, Brava Worsted is 218. Okay. And then Brava Sport is like two, should be 273 in my memory. Do, 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 do. I'm looking all over. I don't think I have one to hand. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have one like right here, but I think it's around, it's either 46 or 73. Um, and that one is also awesome. I use Brava Sport for a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to pop in and, and show you how the progress is coming. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. It's just adorable. It's really adorable. And I'm thinking that this would be just so nice for like, I think I'll do three colors on this one. I think I will, it will only be the red, the gold and the baby blue. So I'll do baby blue, two rows, two rows gold, two rows red, and then I'll measure. And if I need one more row, I will do one row of blue. I will finish it off in navy. And I don't know if I'll use a pom-pom yet or not. I love pom-poms, but I'll see if that's like, that's a, that's a thing I can add on later. So, and this is all gonna be, all gonna be done with um, kind of like kid-friendly yarns. The yellow is the only one that I would say is maybe not as kid-friendly, which is the Wool of the Andes Tweed. It's slightly more rustic uh, as a Highland wool, however, I am gonna block this hat and this will soften. Um, I could legitimately just use the gold that I used in my hat. And now that I think that, why don't I do that? Why don't I do that? I could just hold this stubble and make this the gold. Oh, tempting. <laughs> Choices. Oh. Now I just really liked the, the rustic quality of that that dirty gold. Oh, well, then I guess you'll just have to pop into the podcast to see what I end up doing, because I don't know yet. The, the adventure. Mm. 
I forewarned everybody on Instagram, we're going on a bellish adventure. <laughs> it means that I'm not really sure where the end's gonna be, but I'm having a blast. So um, yeah, just it's just so much fun. So I highly recommend trying out bellish if you are on iOS, um, if you have an iPhone, those are, um, the apps are ready. The other apps are in development. Um, they do have some pre-finished patterns on uh, their bellish.co website that you can choose from to knit. Um, and then the uh, designing element uh, kind of comes in um, with the iOS systems. So they are working on that. They are trying to kind of like push that through. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just looking down and I realized, well, one, I got some Felici, which <laughs> no one's surprised. And I was thinking, I was just thinking like how cute this color palette would be as the stripes on a navy. This is the desert rose, but like if you use these color palettes, like you wouldn't maybe even need this yarn, but baby pink, darker pink, gold, mauve, lilac, and ooh, deeper mauve, purple. But if you used this fade with your background color, I think that would be so pretty as a hat. <laughs> You can get a lot of inspiration for color palettes in things um, like uh, the palettes section of Pinterest. <laughs> um, often if you need help putting colors together, that's a great way to do it. So um, yeah, I think that's everything. And popping in, it's Future Meg. I had to kind of wrap this up completely. I could not leave you hanging. I couldn't wait for the next podcast. I had to do it. <laughs> so I, uh, last night, got totally carried away, absolutely absorbed, and finished it. <gasps> look at this little head. Oh my God, can you even? Look at this. <gasps> do we match? I'm so here for it. So I used um, the Lion Brand Red Heart for the top one. Uh, no, Lion Brand Heartland. That's it. The middle one is the Knit Picks Tweed, which actually felt fine as I was knitting with it and it hasn't even been blocked yet. So, and then the bottom one is Denim of Knit Picks Brava Worsted. And they came out really, really cute. And I think that they match my Themyscira hat really, really well. So I, when I was working on this, I kind of told you I was wanting to make this mini and I'm like, okay, Let's go through Bellish, right? So the pattern is the same. I simply used um, three colors instead of the five. And then I went into a decrease pattern at the top, starting with uh, knit four, knit two together. So it was a pretty rapid decrease. I um, only knit like three rows above the color work. And uh, this pattern is actually going to be available on Bellish as well as its mini. So it's the Themyscira hat, the Themyscira mini. And it, this one is 17 inches around, sort of 18 um, on stretch. And I did find that, I mean, it looks, you know, so big here, um, but if I can do this without making the balloon angry. Okay, I did. So I have these little like hat blockers that I've shown off previously, I got on Etsy, and they're really nice because you can just slide them on like so. And I don't know, it looks so much bigger, flat. So much bigger flat, but um, yeah, either way. Um, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so six colors still um, because I'm doing two, four, six. So you could do a full rainbow on this, which I do intend on making at least one more than mascara hat for a friend. So I'm gonna use cream, sorry, hitcha, cream as the main color and then a um, like pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple all the way up. Um, and I think I think I'm gonna use the Felici worsted that I have in rainbow already, 
because then I won't have any ends to weave in as as far as like six individual colors which are only slightly annoying I know um but you know like if you don't mind weaving in ends it's not that bad um I haven't decided whether I want a pom-pom or not yet so I just have a little a bow kind of holding my string there and I missed one I had to add on I used up the whole scrap that I had and then I had to open up open up the new skein for just this top portion which is a little annoying but I forgot to tie those together but what I have done there so um here are my floats and my little ties I um I do a knot knot and then a jewelry knot I hold that one super tight and um happy as clam I have not had any of them come out knock on wood and uh it just yeah it just works for me um I'm not sure 17 inches is kind of like depends on the kid right it could be a one-year-old it could be a six-month-old just depends on the baby so so far worked out really really well um i was so excited that bellish was so easy to use and could whip up a baby hat for me in seconds so if you haven't tried it yet and you're looking for some ideas it is so much fun and it has so many ideas on there already of drop shoulders and um, cardigans and all that stuff. So if you're thinking about it, I highly recommend it. I'm going to have everything linked down below. Um, again, if you have a an iPhone, it'll be easy to use the app on there. I also use it on my iPad a lot. Um, that's actually very easy because it's a bit bigger for me to read and it has these fun features where it'll kind of like go down the instructions for you so you can like you can cross things off you can highlight them if it has a chart you can click the chart and it'll show you that page um so just all very very useful information um what else i it this just literally whipped up last night so when you saw it a second ago it was just to the blue I finished that row off and just nipped through the color work when I sat down after school uh later that night and um yeah I was just able to finish it off by the time I went to bed and it was so good because I knew I could just kind of dry block it overnight and let it sit and look nice and I'm just so excited I ended up not doing a folded brim on this one um though you absolutely could. Uh, for example, if I just fold this up, it would have something more of this look, which is so sweet, but I think I'm gonna need the length. I do, I think I'm gonna need the length. And I am not gonna try this on the mannequin because I don't think that the mannequin's head is the right size, which is why last night, um, I pulled out the balloon because uh, I had a bunch of these left over from our baby shower that we did not blow up. And I was like, well, this is one of the small ones. Like, let me see if I can get it to about 17 inches. This is 18. Um, so it worked out really, really well. So I just have it dry blocking on the balloon right now. And um, I am I'm torn about a pom-pom because I don't know. <laughs> that's ridiculously big um I'm torn about a pom-pom I like the idea but trying to fit it actually into car seats might be a little bit more awkward so torn but it's 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 mauling it's mauling um and I'm definitely going to go hunt down that cream color and rainbow I've got till February till that one but I'm definitely gonna do that one too so I just wanted to pop in interrupt past mag for a little while and uh kind of catch you up I couldn't wait I had to I had to finish this off in a nice big bow and I want to post it up today so I just want to show you one more time everything is absolutely adorable and I was thinking that black with like candy color candy corn colors could be really really sweet um or like green with all fall colors any sort of scraps you have you can hold fingering weight double that's what I did for all of mine and it worked out perfectly as a worsted weight and I used it on an eight for this one and I used it on a seven 
seven for this one, um, which was the called for gauge. It was a five and a seven, and that is what I used for this hat. And I used a four and an eight for mine. Um, and mine is a little bit, I'd say st uh, stretchier than called for. Um, I guess it's, it's like, I can get my, you know, my hands in here. It's not that tight. Um, so it doesn't have negative ease, uh, but it doesn't have so much positive ease that it's falling off my head either. So it feels, feels really nice. feels really, really secure. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to interrupt past Meg. I'm going to go pop this into the video now so that you can see it. And, um, yeah, thanks so much. All right. Pass Meg, back to you. I wanted to finish this up. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure together. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, and then I will uh, keep you posted if we're going on any more bellish adventures, but I am definitely going to be finishing this little mini to go with my hat. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. So reminding you to take it one cup at a time, no matter how large that cup may be, and I will see you soon. Bye.